this video, I want to illustrate PW dump, um, and there's many versions of this. I'm going to show you an older version just for syntax purposes, uh, but you absolutely want to download the latest and greatest. So in this case, I'm just going to type PW dump or PWD, and I'm going to tab through the necessary files here, and it's about three or four tabs through because I have all of the files in one directory, um, pwdump.exe, and I'm going to do this um, just simply to get the syntax. So I start from just running the command, and then I actually see that I can do pwdump machine name, uh, the output file. If I wanted an output file, this is good uh, to save this because then you can import this file directly into a password cracking program uh, and or the specific username that you, you're looking for. So in this case, I'll do a host name. Okay, find out my name is Leo. So I'll do a PW dump for Leo. Actually, to spell it right, pwdump.exe, uh, Leo. Give it a second, and then the SAM file gets dumped to the machine, uh, to the terminal here. Okay, so what we have here, just to decipher some of this, is we have the username, the relative ID, and I'd always look for 500 because that's the Windows default first account where 501 is guest. Okay, and then group started approximately a thousand, but 500, the land manager hash. And then the NT land manager hash. If you don't see anything here, that means that LM hash has been disabled. So it would look kind of like that, um, other than, of course, no password. In this case, where we can easily find out that there's no password on the guest account or some of the other accounts on this uh, in this test environment. So that's what it looks like uh, for a local machine. Now let's go test it against our target. So let's clear our screen. Let's do a PW dump to 192.168.92.131 and this is our vulnerable Windows server I'm really just pointing this tool at the server and get ready buckle your seatbelts not recognize command try typing it correctly pwdump.exe this is why you actually want to type it and tab through it so that you don't make mistakes okay so I always like to try to walk you guys into the novice mistakes and then Fix the novice mistakes as you go along. So 192.168.92.131. And in this case, you can see a whole bunch jump to the screen. So I'd want to capture this in some sort of um, password.txt file and go ahead and run that. And as soon as you get your command terminal back, that'll show that they actually have the, the files captured in password.txt. And I'll go ahead and look at this. So I'll explore the computer. You'll see that I have PW dump 32 here. And then I have my uh, password uh, .txt file as it gets created as soon as it's finished. And it also will tell you at the very, very end. Okay. So in this case, I just executed it, completed it. And then we can go in here and see here's your password.txt. And there's all the information that I need to basically import into another program so that it can start your brute force, your hybrid, or your dictionary attacks. Very, very easy tool to use. Um, PW dump alternatives of this would be FG dump uh, and be fluent with the skill of extracting the security account manager from target systems, whether it be from their hard drives or their registries or wherever the password files are stored or kept, be able to not only extract them, but also be able to interpret them, the results. That way you can import them into your password practice. Uh, password cracking programs. So thanks for watching. My name is Leo Dreger. Thanks for watching.